What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 44th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called enumerations or enum. Uh, we learned about them before, I think. We might not have. If we didn't, you know, no big deal. We're about to learn it today. But the first thing that we're going to do, well, let me tell you what uh, enumerations are. They're pretty much kind of like classes, but they you're going to use them to declare constants, at least in this tutorial we are. So let's go ahead and anytime you want to do this, instead of public class tuna, you put public enum, E-N-U-M. And now you can use this in a specific way. So like I said, the first thing we're going to want to do is declare a bunch of constants of the enum type. So let's go ahead and make some constants. Or these are pretty much going to be like variables that never change. So I'm going to make like three names, Bucky, and these are in essence objects. So let me give these a few parameters and then you'll see why later on. Um, Bucky, let's uh, give the first parameter a description word of the object. And I'm going to put nice since, you know, I'm doing this tutorial. Might as well say something good about myself. And then let's just go ahead and put a string about like um, how old they are or something. I'll make it interesting for the other two ones. Now, let's think of a next person. Let's think of, uh, we'll do constants of my first girlfriends. So, my first one was Kelsey. And she was, she was a cutie. It was, it was fifth grade. She was pretty cute. And, uh, let's see. When I went out with her, I was ten years old. And now I'll put a comma because we're not done with our entire enumeration list. And then the next girl I went out with was... Oh, it wasn't really a girlfriend, but uh, we had a thing. It was Julia. She was a uh, she was a big mistake, and I was 12 years old when I went out with her. So now we're done. We got three constants. Let's go ahead and end this statement with a semicolon. Now, what we're gonna do since we just made objects, and again, each constant is an object, and it's gonna have its own set of variables in this entire enumeration. So let's go ahead and give it two variables that we're going to use later. Um, private final, since we don't want them to change, string, since that's what we just made, since we're in quotation marks, and we'll put DSC for description, and we'll copy this entire thing, copy, paste, and we have description right here, and what's a good name for this year, or something, year. So now we have three objects, which are actually enumerations, we're calling them, or constants, and they each have a set of their own variables, one for description, one for year. So now what can we do? What do we usually want to do when we create these? Well, the first thing that we're going to want to do is create an enumeration constructor. So let's go ahead and do that by, of course, typing the name of your class, and then you probably want to put your two variables in. Um, put string description and make sure since this is um we're gonna use this make sure this is different than this and you should know why and then just put string and let's put birthday or something it isn't their birthday but I don't want to get confused at all I can't put YR or something because it would just confuse me you know I'm easily confused got something to say about it? didn't think so so now let's put DSC or whatever you declare it up here just put equal to description statement and then go ahead and put um, birthday year equal birthday and now what do we got anytime here's what's gonna happen with Bucky it's gonna say alright with the object Bucky give it two variables a description in a year for the description pass in nice and this 22 we're going to see is birthday. So set year equal to birthday. So now we can work with DSC and year. Good enough? But now that we have a constructor, we just pretty much set these variables equal to where they need to be. We have no way of getting the variables yet. So let's go ahead and create two methods that we can get the variables. So public string, since it's going to return a string, and put get description or get des if you're lazy which I am so hey it works out and then in this one we want to return the DESC 
That's just going to return a string of the description. Easy enough. And guess what we're going to do in this method? Public string get, uh, I'll put get year. Seems like a good name. And this one is just going to return year. The only problem with this, it's a little too easy. So now, this is all we need to do with enumerations. Again, enumerations are constants that are also objects, pretty much. And so, we needed two variables to represent the two arguments. And then once we have those two variables, we can build a constructor. And then this constructor allows us pretty much to set these variables equal to each other and return the information we wanted. So let's go ahead and, well, let's just go ahead and use that information right now. So what we want to do pretty much in our main um, class right here with our main method is build an enhanced for loop. So let's go do that right here. For and the first parameter you need is of course the class name and the the variable that you want to use in your for loop like we used um like description right here this is just a variable that we just made up this is going to be the variable that we just made up right here and that's the first like it's pretty much what you want to call your objects when you loop through them the next argument is you need an array that you need to loop through and let me tell you a little bit about this because this might be kind of confusing anytime you make an enumeration like this Java automatically makes it takes this constant these constants and makes a built-in array and the array is called whatever your enumeration is called and since I name my tune it's called tuna and when you write values like that this is a built-in array of the um, constants right here. So if we're saying, all right, um, I need an array, bam, you got an array right there. And again, you can't change this keyword values. This values is called a static method. And again, this is how you get a built-in array. So this is gonna loop through each of the constants. First is gonna loop through Bucky, then Kelsey, then Julia, and it's gonna assign them to people. Well, you'll see what it does. So now we just need to make a print statement. So let's go ahead and put system. And why do we need to make a print statement? So we can actually see what's going on. System out printf. And let's just go ahead and make our two arguments. The format is going to be percent %s. And let's put a tab, add some spacing, uh, percent %s, uh, add a tab, percent %s, and a new line. So it's going to write our name our description our age and then it's going to go to the next person so now we need our arguments the first thing we want is people because that's what the object is pretty much so in the first one it is just going to loop through our name which is this Bucky in our next argument what we need is to take that people object and use the method get wait what do I name that method people dot get description and what that is going to do is it's going to return a um let me find my screen recorder see how much time I'm at I got minute 30 what's going to do is return a string of our description and this last one people dot get year and what this is going to do is first of all I need to get uh, it messed it up for me people dot get year and what this is going to do is return a string of the year. So let's go ahead and make sure I have a semicolon at the end of that. And uh, one second. And make sure I have this. And let's go ahead and run it. So run this. Okay. And look at my results. I got the object, the description, and the year. Object, description, year. Object, description, year. So what it did, again, see if I can get it, was it looped through the entire array of people, and for the first argument, it gave us the object name, the description name, and the year, whatever year I assigned to them. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be going over this more, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.